Hello, and welcome to our playthrough of Airborne Kingdom. Now, let's head into our episode. Hello, welcome back to our playthrough of Airborne Kingdom. So, as opposed to running around like with a chicken with a head cut off, I knew I had seen someone who had completed this. Um, Airborne Kingdom, Angory Tom from the Yashcast, he's done this quest. Apparently, if I click here... Ah, so... This is technically outside the range of the search area they had. So that's a bit of a dick move. Is it shouldn't be, oh, search the Valley of the Kings. We last heard they went to an ancient ruin. Ding, ding, ding. In the Valley of Kings. Aha! So that is, that is a poorly designed particular quest. All right, now, having said that, let's go ahead. Oh, nope. And trigger this. We nearly leave, but among the mumble, the mumble, the rubble of a collapsed tower, a ruby red scarf catches our eye. <clears throat> uh, we scramble to remove the fallen stone. Quickly, we hear jubilant shouts from below the tower's base. The seekers had thought themselves forever lost and are now saved by a sign of renewed empire. Oh, that's weird. If you wish to join our council immediately upon rescue, we'll be happy to oblige. With relief hearts, we journey back to Contus. The Seekers were the most devoted to the old empire. They were fascinated by our machinery and sought answers to many technical questions. Another rune on the winds, uh, but we have to do attempt for it may collapse at any moment. All right, so map. So now we can head back. Oh, northwest of us? The contest crossing. Um, and on the way, we're just gonna, we're gonna strip this of wood, and we're gonna trade it for food and water. Uh, and grab a few quartz as well. Uh, about three per trip? Shit, that's plenty. 24.2 glass is plenty. Uh, 36 clay for now feels like plenty. We have eight in storage. That's fine. We have eight quartz in storage. There's 11. What? Too far. There we go. 16. All right. That's that's plenty. Uh, we already joined. They're curious. Really? Hold on. All right. So they have to be jubilant. Oh no! We're we're so well. I guess we could also strip. There we go. A great festival is awarded to the returning seekers and us, their saviors. So much jubilance abounds. We swear the kingdom grows in size and beauty. The remaining seekers are convinced with the blessing of the kingdom they will join us too. The people are overjoyed to our proposal of allegiance. We must build a skyport. To connect Katniss to Contis to the wider world. The Council of Contis was so grateful of our return that they alighted from the dais proposed that people take their place for the night. There were ten chairs, so the ten original settlers took their places. It was here that the term the founder and the nine were coined. But we'll go ahead. Do that right away. We have a ton of resources, so what we can do is uh, we want 10 water. I think I screwed that up. And 10 food? Alright, that's plenty. 
weird. We are now known. Ah, oh, shit. We now have strength in numbers. However, the larger our population, the more voices begin clamoring for both lift paths and faith. Our two sources of life. We must placate their cries with other buildings that give desires as well. But at the start of our journey, we do not know these great. Son of a bitch! That's what I was trying to avoid. Because uh, uh, I'm gonna have to build another shrine. Uh, what does the shrine take again? Sorry. Glass and uh, three of each. That's not that bad. Um, is there food around here? Take it. Yes. And this has restored. All right. So either triggering the quest or that restored. So let's go ahead. That's nice. I think we have to do this. Right. Ah, shit, that's too far. All right, back we go. So we're okay on propulsion. We're decent on lift. So we're gonna let this tick. Yeah, okay, you are researching. And we're okay on water. And the food apparently is cloak oh cloak? Close enough to grab. Oh. That's weird that some buildings we can Oh, because we're using water too. Right. Okay. Forgot. This makes water. This consumes water. Okay. So it's it's a net trade, I guess is the way to look at it. Now we have gained another ally. Great! So that is four. So I'm guessing each one has a C. We're now allied with Contus Crossing. Right! The Skyport complete. Contus is now connected to us and its neighbors. A great number of workers have also joined our cause. Son of a bitch! They offered to supply us with plus one, one wood every hour. Not that they are connected to the skies. It should be easy. We must turn to other matters. Live near the Valley of Kings. Yep, yep, yep. We turn to our home map and we have unlocked a new area so we're just gonna head so we need four houses seven idol oh yay ah oh. We're gonna wait. I feel like we're making an okay amount of coal. Have we unlocked any new research? Uh, the windmill and the water filtration. Both probably useful. Uh, I think we're okay on storage. Ah, this would be useful. Yeah, that's 32 hours, so we'll wait on that. We grabbed the ore just to have it. Mm, that might be useful as well, because we're probably going to have two more propellers by the time we're done, at least. And that would be useful. We're not using minarets, but I feel like this is better overall. Okay. 
Alright, water's done. So let's... I've got seven idle. Strip this. Drop this down to one. That's one pass. Uh, are we going to go buy any coal? On our way to wherever we're going. Maybe, maybe not. We will go by. I know. Sucks to be them. This is here. Another one here, I guess? If this is here, then another one... Well, hold on. Nope, nope, nope. Excuse me? Hold on. I guess I didn't wait. Alright, hold on. We need to wait for this... This strip. Center. Pause. I know that 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 was a good idea to go double. I'm not, I'm not sure we're gonna need more than two. All right, so if this one's here, another one here, maybe we are going to need more paths. So let's. Do this. And you here. You here. Two more there. Maybe? Hi. Can you just strip mine this, please? And... Half there. Half there. Go. Fine on water. Fine on food. We're off to the next area. We are headed essentially in that direction. We're fine on clay. We're fine on glass. Like, I could grab a couple of glass. I'm going to a uh, couple of clay real quick. Are we passing by any clay? Not going to grab glass. I think two should be plenty. They don't like water condensers. They don't care about food. Okay. Yep. Grab what you can. Strip this. Okay, three idle. Oh, that was... I didn't mean to stop. And straight forward is where we're going. Alright, I feel like that's plenty. Uh, we'll grab a bunch of wood. And we are headed off into a watery zone. Nice. Salt water though, huh? From farms, 1.7 plus four. All right, so the condenser pays for the farm. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so 20 are mediocre, 36 are satisfied. That is fine. I think the next thing we research is this. The increased range by 50%. As we fly deeper to the unknown, the ground ahead of us visibly changes. One of our people has heard rumors of this place, and we encourage her to speak what she knows. She tells us that these are the shallows, large swaths of undrinkable salt water. Ancient kingdoms were built in these parts. They must still exist today. Nobly, there are fewer coal deposits, so we should make sure to be prepared as we venture... 
poor. I didn't realize we were so low on coal. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, we're going to swing by here real quick. Wasn't paying attention to the cold, I didn't realize we were down to only 60. Uh, sorry, only half. I still think the best thing to do next is increase the range of our front. One pass, and we should be good to go. That should be plenty. And they'll, they'll do another quick pass. The propellers have to go in the front. Huh? We haven't found another source for propeller. We've been finding sources of lift. But not propulsion. Yep, that's fine. Alright, it looks like that, that might be a kingdom, so that's where we're headed. Hello, Red Tail Foxy. Open research. So now we can stack up to three. Pause. I think we kind of have to. By being able to stack up to three, that means we now have room for one, two, three. Well, essentially, right? Four, eight, fourteen, twenty-eight, twenty-eight more people. Okay. So we're working on this. We're out and about into the ocean. So they're lacking... Co okay. Assign workers to collect cotton to convert it into canvas. Alright, so we've got a new resource, which is cotton. Gotcha. A golden sphere. We spot an object glistening in the sunlight. Encircled by ruins as we approach it, we veiled into a smooth, round shape. Immediately we recognize it as one of the golden spheres, a piece of the Roman nomad's orrery. This wondrous ancient construction would help our kingdom immensely. We carefully hoist the sphere upon our platform, moving around one step closer, building the nomad's worry. Our hearts slept that day, for the secrets of the world were ever nearer. We turned to our home. That was fortuitous. Plenty of water, but we're pretty much full. There's cotton. I'm going to be lacking wood as well. Yeah. What's over here? Uh, we have more glass than I know what to do with, so we're not going to grab any more of this. We will grab a stack of this real quick. One pass is plenty. Gonna grab what we can as we fly by. Unknown ruin. Interesting. Forests! Appreciated. Ancient tower. A spire built by the ancient long ago. Now it's a beacon through these murky lands. So many ancient ruins from bygone eras stood in those days. Though many are now collapsed and lost, the room of that great society presence. A thicket. So there's food. Oh, we're paused. There's food. So I'm not worried about food. How much did we... 15? Fine. That's plenty. Don't know. Aha. What we're using it for yet. I would like it to be food. Uh, sorry. Food, wood, and water. That would be nice. 10 idle. Alright, well... Forts. I feel like we have plenty of glass. Unknown kingdom. And there we go. Ooh, actually, send a worker real quick. Uh, 
All right. Ash Rock Landing. Cool. We fly towards a small outcropping of islands ahead of us. Curious of the structures, we can see in through the mist. On our approach, we begin to hear loud shouting, and we brace for the unknown. Yet as we near, we note that the shouts are in fact cries of rejoicing. Cheers are emanating among loud whoops and shrill of laughter. Oh, and shrill laughter. The shallows had been expecting us. They could not contain their joy, for they know of their prophecy and that the airborne kingdom helped them all. The legend of the airborne kingdom had turned to doctrine in these lands, for in the distant past they were bountiful and rich. Through overuse, they sank into the shallows. The Airborne Kingdom would signal a new beginning for all. They have a request. They have a request. The prophecy tells of the Airborne Kingdom aiding the people, and their people need help. Though Ashrock Landing contains plentiful food and water and cotton, they lack many construction resources. We see many temporary shelters atop the black slabs. We could build more permanent homes with our resources to prove the legend undoubtedly true. Oh. Ah, blueprint. So, we need some way, there's the sail, a balloon, low cost, no fuel, one worker, kept weaver, we need fog, greenery, oh, oh, that's neat, we could make forests, alright, so we need five, don't think we can buy them in. We can't buy relics, can we? Uh, we can trade for coal, water, food, glass, and hemp. No. Okay. Just out of curiosity, how much to buy coal for wood? One for one. Alright. Alright, so we need to find more relics so let us go on wandering uh, that's a cotton meadow we're looking for oh shit we got eight never mind hold on buy blueprints hemp weaver we ask for other things we return which we now need to research all right Do we wait to finish researching? I think we do. In the meantime, we go explore. Because we can get resources as we go. And wood is infinitely expendable. Uh, don't need glass. Do we need more clay? I don't think we need more clay. This. Ooh, what's this? Six relics. Nice. Ooh, a small settlement. Uh, 19. Alright, so let's say we can create, recruit a few more. We're gonna wait on that. Fluorescent pond. We take the dyes. Water, wood, unknown ruin. I feel like that's going to be important to know where those are at some point. Um, where do we find... If wood gets to... I don't think we want more than 50 wood at any given time. So if that gets too high, I'll just head back to town and sell a bunch of wood for water and food. Because it's a th it three three for one. There we go. We'll grab this. That looks like another kingdom. So we'll wait on that. We come across a band of fatigued travelers. They seem disillusioned with their plight and aware of anyone. I encourage them to move along and do just that. Okay, so we can't fix that yet. An unknown settlement. I'm gonna go ahead. And grab this. We're not going to trigger this yet. All right, so that is here. Now, 
So, pause. So we actually want to head back in this direction. Relics found. There we go. Woo! Go relics. Uh, what are we researching? Yes. Definitely that. We can wait on housing. More relics. That's an unknown settlement in an unknown room. Lots of settlements, actually. I'm wondering, but well, we'll wait. Maybe, right? Maybe one of these is a, a more efficient way of researching. So we're going to wait on that. We're going to trigger this. We're going to return to home. We're not going to recruit anyone yet. We're going to trigger this. Send a worker. That's clay. Don't need clay. Um, we're fine on coal. Um, we're not even halfway on food, so I'm gonna wait. We'll go right to the edge. Ah, hold on. And trigger this. Ancient tower. Spy built. Working lands. Alright. For the small settlement. Uh, we'll do a quick pass. Yeah, I have more wood than I know what to do with. So we're going to head back and try to convert more wood into water. and food. Because why not? All right, that is, yep, that is full. All right, so, sorry, minus five. And we're just going to head back to the settlement. I think the more people he keeps... Again, this is from playing before we leave. I think the happier we keep people, they should get bonuses for production. Nice. Um, we're switching to... Hemp Weaver. Yeah, that's going to be super quick. Yeah, we'll just go straight down to the first two. Easily. Oh, no, we already did this map. We're headed in straight ahead, this direction, please. Yeah, we're not finding a lot of propulsion. I know we're full. Um, go ahead and trigger the more efficient hemp weaver. They, they, they can't. Because they are full of everything. They have no room for anything else. We have way too much glass. So we could convert some glass into food and water as well. And I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to sell some wood. We're going to sell some... Am I headed in the right direction? Yes. I am just... There we go. So we're going to convert wood... And glass into food and water. And we should be fine. I think 30, 30 brick, 30 wood, 30 glass. That feels fine. 30, 60, that's 90. That leaves about 100, but you don't need that much wood. So getting down to 50 wood would be fine. So oddly enough, what we need to do I, is not blueprints. It's so expensive. As much as we have, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go to market. And the first thing we're gonna do is say buy. We're going through food at an accelerated rate. So let's go ahead and buy food. For gla one to one. Oh my god. All right. Well. Really? Yeah, one-to-one. One. Fuck me. All right. How about water? What's the trade rate there? 
One to one. All right. And just because we can... Sure. Uh, let's go back to food. All right. And now we have to wait for research. We have plenty of canvas. Uh, map. So this is another kingdom. Let's go south and see what's there. We're gonna we're gonna do a sweep this way, I guess. So in this direction, please, sir. Yeah, we can buy coal. If, if wood's your if wood's your trading resource, right? I doubt it's one to one. Go. All right, now all right, so we can stack housing. I have 10 idle. Hold on. Is there anything? This is 8. That's 16. I kind of want to see how this works. So let's go ahead and start researching the windmill. Um, and build... Hemp weaver. Alright, so they don't like hemp... Oh, wow. They take up a lot of space. For now... Okay. I guess right there is fine. Um, and we'll start converting the hemp. Again, you don't need to, like, you don't need to keep the raw resource in storage. Which is kind of a, I kind of like that. Alright, um, we're gonna spread out this way a little bit. And we're gonna start converting our canvas. <laughs> oh, sorry, our hemp to canvas. Perfect. Um, oh, wait. Right, I did do the stat to three. So that means... I can do this. And now we have room for three more. Quite happily. We'll grab that. Fine. 19 more workers. So we're at 56. Hold on. So if we grab 10, so we can essentially go to 66, we'll say, or 65 currently. So knowing that... Where does that put us? I'm just clicking things to get them on the board, if they're on the board. Alright. Yep, not going to recruit anyone right now. Map. Oh, wow. You can go way south. Hold on. Let's go way south. And see what's there. We might need some more propulsion. Seven idle. Sixty. Yeah, so we can go to sixty-seven. So that's a little too much. This should be six. Sixty-five. There we go. So there, there's our limit. The problem is that will consume more food and water. You know, issues. All right, I guess we're headed here. 56 satisfied. 
Nice. Yeah, that faith upgrade was definitely worth it. So now they're satisfied. I mean... Some sort of upgrade to increase the range of this would have been nice. I don't know what these are. That's... We're gonna wait. I don't think we're ever gonna get to Jubilant again. I'm not gonna lie. If, and I stress this, if the lamppost counted as walkable paths, then yes. It's very weird to me that they do not. Oh, we're grabbing that. And again, these should pop up. We're fine. Ah, eh, wood and water could be better. But, like, we can grab... Look, there's food. Grab some water on the way back, I think. Gonna need more lift. Fluorescent ponds. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Uh, back this way. Alright. So, start triggering this and more possible speed. Because they're right, the faster we go, the less time it takes to travel to wherever we're going. See? We're fine on food. And it doesn't matter about stripping thickets because they regrow. I don't think water does, or at least I don't... Oh, that's an another... Kingdom, that must be here? Usually it's on the map. All right, let's head back this way. We've got some canvas. We're making more canvas. Plus, we can grab some water. Tree of Serenity. We near a lone, peaceful tree surrounded by ruined walls. We feel more serene the closer we approach. Immediately, we recognize it as one of the trees needed for the room and tree garden. This wondrous ancient construction would help our kingdom immensely. We pick it seeds with delight, knowing we're one step closer the building, the Tranquil Gardens. We return to our home. But does each zone have one of each? That kind of feels like what it's supposed to do. Hmm. We'll grab some water on our way. Uh, we've been here? We have not been here. Alright, so we're going to trigger this. I will pick up... I will go ahead. I've got the room. I will go ahead and pick up two more, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. We can only grab two of them. We can never grab... Yep. Excited to join. Recruit. There's Naz. There's a name for you. But they replenish, so you can get there eventually. I don't think we need more wood. Map, please. Uh... Oh. Hmm. Well, straight north, I think, from here. Oh, we haven't been here. All right. Again, relics should appear on the big map. I don't understand why they don't. I'm not going to lie. And I grab this. Just because, and I'm not spending relics because I will grab what I need and then always go back. Yeah, they don't have a lot of coal, but they trade for coal. Like, that's fine. Oh, uh, pause. Windmill. H3. Alright. Yeah, so... If, yeah, that's what you want to do. And it looks like 
Like, they don't care about the windmill. I don't mind tilting two degrees back. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like what you, ooh, wow. Actually, that's not too bad. What's the research, are there, is there any research for the windmill? Is that resource? Comfort and range. Yeah, so you can have one windmill get like almost eight farms that quite a bit and they're providing the comforts pretty good as well hmm this is this is actually a good spot for now i've got three i'm gonna go ahead and do it Okay, we don't need water, we don't need food, because this should double. Point 0.5. Really? That'll change. Alright, hold on. Uh, quests, 5 and 15. Done. Uh, I will go ahead. How much, how much are they charging for coal? Again... Woods are a renewable resource, so we, we seek to buy coal. One for one. Sure. Because what we can do then is... Uh, I thought I saw a forest. Oh, it's back. Oh, no, that's cotton right there. Uh, we'll just... We'll just chill out here for a little while. Really? 0. 0.5? I'm not sure that's calculating correctly. I feel like it should be making more. Hmm. Two every four. That should be two for every three hours. Homes are complete. Great. With our resources and a joint effort. Soon the homes and that are complete. A few of the workers even join us underneath the old shelters. We now see the black rocks are coal that we can harvest. Long ago, the landers had sent a party in search of more construction resources. Now that they have permanent homes, this party can return. We could bring them back. All would rejoice. They mark a general direction on our map where the party was headed. We must return the wandering landers to their new homes. What we're going to do. The landers have no use for coal. They had not once considered digging for it. They gladly gave us the privilege. We shall find the lost party. Map. The weary travelers. Oh, look at that. We already know exactly where to go. Um... Now we're fine. Ooh, we're using a lot of water now, though, huh? So we might want to build two condensers. Um, that'll give us nine idle, because these take two, right? Yes. Uh, we're okay on lift. Are we headed in the right direction? Yes, we are specifically headed in the right direction. We're fine on wood. Alright, that 1.5 isn't bad. No, it's not. Well, I mean, even if it fills up, I don't care. It's going to drop pretty quickly. Um, that's fine. I guess we could use some quartz. Um, there we go. Don't think we need to send many. We'll just do a pass. Oh, shit. Emptied it. Whoopsie! Uh, and maybe two on clay?
Yeah, that's plenty. Twelve. Yep. Map. Uh, ah, there they are. Oh, there's only... You know what? We'll just strip it. There's only nine remaining. And trees do grow back. Hot guys. They know of Ashrock Landing and their eyebrows raised. This is the search party from Ashrock Landing. They had become lost in the depths of the shallows and most wished to return home. But they have grown disillusioned with anyone they meet. We are no exception. To make the journey back, they need supplies. The only join us, we can give food and water. And we give them the necessary supplies to the party we sent to collect to leave. And now they know we can be trusted. And most agree to join us on a journey to Ashrock Landing. Not all the people join, but some have left no family behind. And they wish to explore the shallows further. But most clamor aboard and ready themselves for a journey. Ones who came aboard were weak, unable to work. They stayed in our own homes. Which we gladly shared until we were alive. Alright. And alright. Uh yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright. Pause. Map. And reverse. Flip it and reverse it. Alright. You turn. Uh, we already grabbed this, right? Yeah. Question. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, I'm not sure I like slime. We're using daybreak on the houses. Oh, you can do it to the... Mmm. Mmm. Kind of like, you know what? Let's do Seafarer for water. Hyper type. So that's the floor. There we go. Now I can, okay, I can see it a little better. Oh no, what do we do? We go back and we buy more. Coal, wood, 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 water, fuel. We're fine. Nope. We're gonna have plenty of each in storage, so I don't, I don't feel the need to really do anything. Yep, that's fine. The forest moved out of range. We still got a hundred something. So, I mean, that gives us 50 to spend. Oh, look, there's 10 and 10. Uh, maybe we'll do 40, 40, and 40. Yeah, 40, 40, and 40. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, yeah, let's start faster. Faster movement, please. Nice. This feels much more manageable. Turn the Lost Landers' tears of joy stream down the faces at Ashford search party and their kin have reunited, and it is a joyous day. A few of the search party turned back and wished to join us. I'm glad we have the spare housing. Oh, wow, I'm glad we had the spare housing. Oh, didn't we just jump up from, like, 57? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, we ignite. Sorry, a few of the search party turned back and wished to join us. Having regained their strength along the journey, we are happy to have them. Now, Ashrock Landing truly believes we are the prophesized kingdom. We must build them a skyport to seal their allegiance. Ten canvas, which we have, and we have unlimited wood. Alright. Uh, I've got 32 for... Nah, we'll wait. We've got other kingdoms to hit up. So we're gonna wait for this to finish. Um... Pause... Free plenty idle. Oh, don't need that. I'll use the wood to buy coal. But we can... We can harvest the rest on our own. And it will grow back. These are converting. That's fine.
Because this is going to give us more people. I don't want 12 more workers. I really don't. I'm having a hard enough time keeping them all satisfied. That's fine. Done! Hey! We are now allied with Ashrock Landing. Great, what are they gonna give us? Cotton! Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't want cotton! Alright, with the Sky Beacon complete, Ashrock Landing is now connected to us. And their neighbors. They send their customary five inhabitants, descendants of the representative of the old... Oh, so we get five every time. Gotcha. Great counsel to aid in the making of this legend. They also supply us with plus six cotton every day. Now that they connect to the skies, it should be easy. Let's find the other kingdoms and connect them as well. And all peoples will enjoy collective harmony. Collective harmony and the prophecy will be complete. Turn to other matters. What do they do with plus six cotton a day? Right, whatever. We're not collecting any more cotton. Now, we know there's a kingdom out here. Let's go north. Well, that's south. Oh, there it is. North. Oh, before I go, uh, we'd like to barter. I want cotton. I wanted food, or water, to be honest. Let's go ahead and buy some coal. Turn to other matters. Home. And, yeah, we're never collecting... Well, I shouldn't say that. Highly unlikely we're going to be collecting a lot of cotton. Alright. So we've got two water condensers. I'm researching time. I think we try this. We have 11 idle. We need three more houses, huh? Well... not the issue. Sixty-nine! Giggity. Yeah, I can only hold seven more. So we can do one more city until we find some way to make them happy. Essentially, is what it comes down to. So four cities times five. Hold on. Four, eight, twelve. That's 60. So you get 60 alone, if not a little more, from completing all the quests. Aura Bay. What are you gonna give me? Okay. Aura Bay. Please give me food. Or glass. I don't want cotton. The people in Quora Bay work together harmoniously. They are trained from birth to understand the rhythms of the world and their people. There was never a thought of a king of a king of queen, for together the quarrels were connected in their own melody, their wishes never drifting far from the boat. What blueprints do you offer? Are madam peoples? A balloon in greenery. Alright, we're gonna pass on that. What is your quest? Music fills the air meant to celebrate our arrival in Quora Bay. But in the melody, sadness echoes. We learn that the Quarrels had ne nearly finished their masterpiece, the Grand Harp, but they had lost it to the storms. The barge that held the nearly complete instrument in its final construction materials was washed away in the last enormous deluge. It's the same that still kept the lands flooded. To find the Grand Harp and return it to Quora Bay, Harmony would resume again. This is a task for an airborne kingdom. And prove our prophecy to the quarrels and to ourselves. We shall find the Grand Harp. Um, not looking good on the tech. Uh, let's head east. That's another kingdom? Wow! That's two very close kingdoms. Let's head south. Actually, you know what? Let's head east. Can we queue up multiple quests?
is the question. Um, just to have some in storage. Elysian Cape. Like most communities in the shallows, an Elysian Cape has no true leader. The people rule themselves and come together to wholly make decisions as one. But in such small numbers, quorum seemed always possible. Most assuredly, when the motivations of all appear. Clint? Yep, 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 yep. What do you got? Again, nothing new. God damn it. Quests. The great pyre has extinguished after storms this is expected, and they can rekindle it as the towers of flame. But after the last enormous tempest, the land stayed flooded and no paths to the towers exist. The pyre is a symbol of the lands, both in this cape and throughout the shallows. Without this beacon, the people feel as cold as the, as the surrounding water. We must relight it. All the people in the shallows know that the true airborne kingdom is in an aid in dark times. What better way to prevent by helping with such a task. We shall relight the Towers of Flame. Well, we're fine. Okay. Oh, wow. So I bet you there's one more kingdom down here. Uh, Real quick, I just want to see what's over here. So it looks like you can queue up multiple quests. We're fine on water. We're fine on food. There's a small settlement. Return home. Map. There might be something out here, but I doubt. Oh, I took a little more quartz than I wanted. Well, that's fine. Head this way. We're still playing at speed three. I don't want green. Maybe I do want greenery. Because then I can build forests. Hmm. Oh, I already tapped this one. Alright. Tap. Oh, we're headed way south. Okay. I have 14 idols, so it's not... It's not the bodies. Mm hmm We're gonna hit up this and this and head. Yeah, so we'll hit here, go here, swing around this way. Yeah. Um... Food took such a hit. This is as fast as I can. Yeah, it looks like there's another kingdom in this general direction. If they don't sell anything else, I will grab plants. Because if I can pack some plants here, that provides comfort. Maybe that'll push them up to some of them to jubilant. Although I guess it doesn't matter as long as you keep them satisfied. Again. I think if they're jubilant, there should be, like, just a small increase in proficiency or something. But I don't feel like we need to tap anything. Every point one we create, yeah. Alright, so we'll grab this on the way. Anything else here? anything there's a tower out there that's way out here though so let's oh nice don't think we need that i don't think we need the increase to rain all right let's grab this Um, send a worker. We're gonna head out this way real quick.
Yeah, I, I basically need to sell wood. I'm, I'm not using wood fast enough. I could build more coal, I guess. We can decrease the range to almost nothing. So I guess that is pretty important. I feel like we're fine on lift. Really? That's it for propulsion? He's take two. They use 0 0.21 coal. Maybe. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna click this. We're not gonna recruit anyone. Oh! The alloys to customize our buildings. Small settlement. That is on the thing. We're good there. Let's head back this way. That's fine. It it will come in slowly. Power of flame. Oh. Fire built by the ancients. Now it sits a beacon through these murky lands. You know what? We're here. Let's ignite it. We recognize and light its tip. The new beacon shines upon the land. Like, oh! The light that was nearly lost had awoken from embers, much in the way we hope. Okay. So we have to light. Nice. We have to relight all the little towers we were looking at. Gotcha. Yeah, let's go ahead and trigger this, since I feel like we need to build more. Okay. Is that now on the map? Yeah, ancient tower. All right. Trigger the small settlement. We're not recruiting anyone. Okay. Uh, and we'll head back. We'll do a loop. So we're going to head... Hold on. West-ish. Send a worker there. You know what? I'm just gonna grab everything the next town we get to. I've got enough relics. I've got more than I know what to do with. We are researching something. Yes. Alright, yeah. It's just gonna take a while. That. Yes. Alright. So now we're looking for towers. And we found... Yeah, we found one, two, three. I think there's only three. There might only be three. And here's another town. I don't care that it's missing. Right, I'm going to sell three glass. Bunch of wood. Broken Isles. The Broken Isles have no leader, and most is shared among them. Locals. Okay, that's a weird sentence. Though hard work is valued, what one builds with their hands is theirs to keep. But the Broken Isles cherish the ancient hard work. Most of all, it's strove to emulate the dedication. What blueprints do you have? Is it by zone? Not by city. Alright. Might as well just grab it all then. Uh, what are we buying? Food and water. Gotcha. Let's buy the food first. Oh. It's changed. Okay. Um, one, two, three. All right. One. All right. And then water. So down here, it's three for one. Okay. 
They require aid. The homes they have built are scattered amongst the three main isles in low water. The people can travel between them, but low waters come ever less frequently. They need bridges to reconnect their land is one, but the ability to build above the water, materials are piled, but each construction elude them. Prophecy, prophecy foretells an airborne king that will aid all lands or help to build these bridges would be the final proof needed to assume that we are genuine. I kind of don't want to do this because I cannot keep... Alright. So, all right, let's at least, um, weren't we flying by some food? Yeah, we don't need cotton. Water. I thought we were flying by some food. Hold on. Let's keep going in that general direction. Oh, was I imagining it? I must have been imagining it. Actually, maybe it will unlock food? Hold on. Let's... Let's do the quest. We're right here. Maybe it will unlock something. Uh, and... Just because I don't know what else to build... It's not a desire. Base oh, wait, I have to research it first. Gotcha. I thought I saw... I don't care about hemp. Oh. Right. If we've done enough quick enough, and that will be that for this day. I feel like we can do it in one clean sweep. Gonna let this trickle. I have 12 idle. They're satisfied because they have the bridges are finished. Great. No one joined me. While the rough waters in the isles are connected. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright. They join it among it's unmatched. Now you we must build them a sky beacon. But that'll give us five more. We ask of other things. No. God damn it. Really? Wait. One more. So we have... Yeah. The moment we get up, the most they'll be is mediocre. But more nearby comfort. Greenery. Okay. So now we want to build greenery. Because it gives plus one comfort. Okay. Not sure what this is. These two lead to whatever this is. These two lead to whatever this is. And these two lead to whatever this is. How long? Let's... That's fine. It's only going to take an hour. I don't mind. I want to see what this leads to. Because I feel like we kind of need to progress. The shrine is nice, but we need to trigger whatever this is. And whatever this is? Or at least whatever this, this is. Whatever. Th Temple. How to build minaret and greenery. We now have the idea of temple. It was plus 10 comfort while also providing faith in a large radius. Okay. More comfort. Significantly. This. 
goes here. This goes... Alright, so we need whatever this is to unlock. And that's going to take eight hours. And double the range. I kind of think I need to do this. I don't know how much that plus 10 comfort is. I don't know what this goes to, but I would like it, personally. Um, so we lost all headway on... This. That's fine. This takes eight. Yeah, alright. So we're gonna finish the temple. We're gonna pause it here. Um, we'll see how much space the temple takes. We may need to redesign things. Thirty-two. Hours. I think we have to do this just so we can just redesign things more. But well, we're gonna see how much space the temple takes. Um, I feel like we're at the point where we pretty much need to redesign this whole thing. We'll see where that goes. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, sorry, this is a longer video than most, just because I didn't want to split it into two like twenty-minute or so episodes. Well, I think I could do two forty minutes. We'll see what how many episodes this is, but. As always, thank you very much for watching. Be feel, to, feel, feel free to like, subscribe, or comment. Even better. Oh, and, or smash that bell, all that jazz. Even better. Come on, uh, check out other playthroughs I've done. Uh, uh, playlists that catch your eye, things of that nature. Bestest, come on over and check me out when I stream live every... Uh, Monday through, uh, sorry, Sunday through Friday. Thank you very much for watching. Till we see each other again, remember to be kind to one another. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparky tdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.